I am still glad recording is in progress. Uh, thinking about how to put a little twist on every episode of Hey Startup Podcast to maintain myself interesting and to maintain myself engaged and enthusiastic about it. I am watching what people are watching out there. And what I've come to realize is that majority of the people are so much more into gossip. They are now so intrigued by what's happening with Meghan and Harry and the royals and the whole war between them. There are people who are taking Meghan and Harry's side and there are people who are taking the royal side. But they're really, really into it as if they were watching a match on television, as if they were watching a film and you want to be on the side of the main character to overcome all of the obstacles that come his or her way. And you're cheering for that main character, for that actor. So I was thinking from the actor's point of view, if I were to watch Megan and Harry, as actors doing a play or doing a film as they are going about their lives with the messaging that they want to put out there with all the truth, their truth that they want to share with the world. If I were to look at them if they were in an acting session in front of me and I was the acting coach and I would have to then give the feedback and give my criticism, what would it be? Would I believe them as acting, as being truthfully? And the answer is no. They are so far from that, that it's, right in your face. It's slapping you in the face. No doubt that if anybody would be behaving the same way, the director would tell them to stop, take a pause, do a little bit of reflection, do a little bit of preparation and take two. Let's do it again because they are not doing that. They are doing so much melodramatic acting. They are doing so much <sighs> sentimental acting. They are doing so much pretend acting. All three that I have mentioned go against everything that great acting stands for. What acting as a responsibility on great actors is. So when I see these two, I understand why the population is so intrigued with them because no matter if you are an acting coach, no matter if you are in the industry of actors, no matter if you are in the entertainment industry, we as audience member, when we watch something, we relate to great acting because those great actors are portraying humanity. They're portraying us as humans with truth behind what they're doing. Truth in their greatness, truth in their message, truth in showing their flaws. When we see bad acting, it is completely the opposite and it is exactly what Megan and Harry are doing. They are saying one thing and doing another thing, hypocrites. So if they come in front of great acting coaches and great actors, and we see them do, take for instance, the interview they did with Oprah Winfrey. I mean, I'm not saying for those people, fewer and fewer who are left to believe in them. I cannot believe that they actually could watch that interview and believe anything of what they were saying, including Oprah. I used to watch Oprah and she was like this phenomenal woman. I mean, she was this extraordinary woman when she had the show and she was a visionary. Why would she, with so much experience and with so much history, why would she not have 
understood and seen through the lie. Or maybe she did and she doesn't care because she was nominated for an Emmy. And that, that kills me to be nominated for an Emmy for a lie being told with lies on top of lies. And at the same time, the acting to have been so bad and you still have a nomination for an Emmy. What are actors out there who are giving their souls and their hearts to, to this profession, who never get a chance, who are starving, who have not been able to get a job because of the competition being so big? What are they? I feel bad for them. I don't even feel bad for me because I'm not an actor. I gave that up a long time ago because I wasn't strong enough to do the acting because you need to do a lot of work on yourself as a human being in order to then be an actor. You have to allow yourself, you have to portray yourself as an honest, truthful, well-intentioned person and then go on the other side of the spectrum of humanity and reveal the shame, reveal the flaws that you have, reveal your bad doing, and maybe apologize to people who you have done wrong. You have to tap into your humanity with everything that it has. You can't just pretend to be one-sided person, one dimensional person if you're gonna go do an interview and you're gonna speak up on a person but I don't want to mention the person but this is what this person did to me but I don't want to mention the person because that story is never gonna be revealed I will never name names well if you're not gonna name names then don't name the story you cannot have it both ways you tell the story, you give the specificity of the situation, because that's what you would be asked to do as an actor. So if you guys are out there getting a nomination for an Emmy, then I'm going to look at you as actors and I'm going to say, why was the nomination given to you? The acting was so bad. So that takes me to the universal truth that's happening in the world right now is that people will accept bad acting. Are you kidding me? Like seriously, like you get an Emmy for the interview. I'm acknowledging to you what is happening with me. That is what an actor does. An actor acknowledges what's happening in the moment rather than try to portray that everything is perfect and I'm perfect. No, that is not what great actors do. That is not what great characters do to become nominated for something. And they get nominated for an Emmy. It would have been one thing to get nominated for it if the lies were being told in such a way that I would have believed them. If the lies and her reactions to them were so bad and you would think that Oprah would know better. And she even got an Oscar for an amazing performance that she did many years ago. The Color Purple, I think it was. Beautiful film. And she was amazing. This was like, I don't know how many years ago. I know she works with an acting coach who was also my teacher many, many years ago. You would think that she would know what bad acting is from great acting. And she would actually give herself the gift after so many years in this business, after so many years doing interviews, I read people. And then Megan supposedly is an actress. And I thought she was. I haven't seen series that she was on, Suits. But then after all this craziness that found Harry, she didn't know who Harry was. Are you kidding me? Like, you don't know who Harry is. They go, I just want him to be kind. The friend who set us up, I just wanted to know, I asked the question, is he nice? I mean, seriously, that's bad acting. If you watch me do that, imagine me telling you a story and going, hi, I'm a 50 year old woman. Okay, in her case, she's 40. She was 37 or 30 six but it doesn't matter but if I come to you guys and I'm like hi everyone I just want to tell you that my sweet boyfriend and I were so happy together and the other day he came up to me and he was asking me if I want anything in the world because he is ready to provide anything that's going to make me happy and I said I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I want nothing at all. I just want to know, are you nice? Are you going to be nice to me? That's all I need. I need for you to be nice and kind. First of all, you'd be telling me, why am I changing my voice? 
because I'm not 20, your voice goes to this, the nice voice. If you do that as an actor, you're being stopped by the director or by the acting coach and you're telling that actor in front of you, what are you doing? What are you doing faking it? Stop faking it. What are you faking? Don't be fake. You want to be a great actress. A great actress, a great actor requires that you stop being fake. Aren't you curious during your lifetime? She's wanted to be the top. Of, she's wanted to be with those people who are A-listers. Well, that requires you informing yourself and finding what you need to do for your work as an actor. There are classes, there are coaches that successful actors are still working with on their roles because they know the acting work does not finish because our humanity keeps getting evolved. The only time that you finish working as an actor in preparation and training as an actor is when you die. And you don't want that to happen, right? You wanna have as many years as you can training because if you stop training, it means that you're dead. I'm here, call me, honest to God. I will help you so much to understand that you can do all of the things that you mentioned you wanna do about being compassionate and helping people. And, but you're not doing it in the right way. No matter how much money you pay your PR people, they have no freaking idea. They're looking at you as if you are just a human being who is going to get to the top by faking interviews and crying rivers of boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, you are a victim. In acting, if you tell an actor to play a victim, you tell them, take the victim out of the character. Victims are the ones who get up. Victims are the ones that really have had something happen. They are the strongest people. They come out on the other side and they reveal their stories which are difficult to reveal because of what they had to go through in order to help people not go through similar situations, in order to give tools to other people to protect themselves from going through the same situations as they were. So your interpretation and your portrayal of victim is just not believable, Megan. And you are not doing any justice to those people who have really gone through difficult situations. So you faking acting, acting badly, that's what you do. You're acting so badly that it will not be accepted in any situation if you were to be on set of a film or on a stage. It would be stopped, the director, the acting coach, like I said, would come and they would talk to you and they would tell you to dial it down because it's unbelievable. And Oprah, I do not understand. I had so much respect. I still have so much respect. I just don't understand. Like, how do you even accept the nomination of an Emmy when you know that interview was so badly done? the way that you were looking at them, you were playing the partner to these two actors, let's say. So when the other partner comes on stage or on set, what I do as an acting coach, I tell the partner, the other actors, to, to not play it easy. Don't give to the first actors what they want. If they have an objective, you as the other character have to make it difficult for them to attain their objective. That's what creates drama because that's what happens in real life. In real life, for you to gain your goals, it takes a lot of effort. I can't just come out and say, I'm a victim. Like I said before, I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to give you names. I'm a victim. Therefore, pity me because I deserve to be pitied. No, I have to prove my story. Megan and Harry, tell your truth. What truth? Your truth. There's no your truth, my truth, his truth. There's one truth. Deep down inside everybody's soul, there's a truth. Search for that one. Go tap into it and bring that out. You can maintain your story about how difficult your life was as a royal, but you can also give one example of a positive. You can't just have negative, 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 and nothing positive. Was there nothing positive about it? 
How about the fact that now people know who you are? How about that? You've been given a platform. Do you know how many people who have some real things to say and would help so many people in the world don't get to have a platform? Do you know that? And then you have Oprah who knows exactly. So she uses the tools that she learned in acting to provide pause in the moment after Megan says, statement she makes about somebody in the royal family but they won't give names they never want to talk about that story but it was a, a segment where mega says something oprah goes like this one two three four five which is what i tell actors to do in order to create intensity but when they are finding their truth to reveal not when they're finding lies the pause is what builds the whole tension up. And then you say, what? What? She even used the who instead of what. It, that's what actors are told to do. When you're saying what, it makes it more powerful. It makes it well pronounced. So it has more of a power. What? One, two, three, four, five, pause. Please give us a break. Those people who have done this work as actors and acting teachers we have earned the understanding of psychology transformed into behavior as Ilya Kazan Ilya Kazan calls acting the definition of acting so we I as an acting coach am a little bit of a psychologist not in the sense that I have a certification or I want my actors to substitute me for the psychologist that they need to see I see a psychologist I'm an acting coach but just because I understand psychology and I can be specific in the way that I will guide actors to be behaving in a role to give the most of who they are and to portray the human character in the most specific way. That doesn't make me a, a specialized psychologist and I can heal people. No, I always tell them, go deal with your healing of the mind. The healing of the mind, the healing of the soul has to be done with professionals. I just wanted to do this episode differently because every time we focus on actors and every episode that we do is pretty much about, you know, acting techniques and how do we benefit from those as people, not just as actors, because they are very beneficial and powerful. But just watching YouTube, how I'm becoming like obsessed with it. Why is there so much discussion? Them and the interview and then Piers Morgan, the other people are just giving analysis of what happened between Megan and Piers Morgan. And I think, you know, in a country like United States of America for somebody to give their opinion and for somebody to say what he said, I just don't believe what she's saying. And then for him to get so much negativity back, I mean, that's like absolutely crazy. She's acting badly. And the badly, I mean, it is so visible that it's fake. The fake pretend acting that was left so many years ago, that was done before Stanislavski the famous Konstantin Stanislavski in Russia a hundred and some years ago came up with the truthful acting. So she's doing the bad acting from a hundred and some years ago and people are not seeing through it. Majority of people are, but I'm saying there's still a lot of people that are not seeing through it because every actor in the world wants to get to a level of being recognized and being part of the elite to get the platform that you fought so hard to get, then to say that the platform is not important with the titles, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, the hypocrisy is so visible. I think the reason why I'm a little bit upset and the reason why I'm like talking about this is because I can't believe that there's an Emmy out there for that interview. And there's actors that I know that I work with, which are absolutely amazing. They're extraordinary. They're giving their characters that they do in independent movies on stage in sessions they're giving it their heart and their soul and their backstories and they're bringing those characters to life in a way that's beyond magic but they don't get the platform because people don't understand the difference between 
good acting and great acting. So majority of the people still believe in good acting. Good acting, which is the same as bad acting, rather than great acting, because there's not a lot of great acting out there. There's how many actors, you can name them, the number of them, because it requires giving of all of who you are. If you're on a stage as an actor and somebody tries to manipulate his or her emotions or the other person on stage, you are being stopped and you say, what are you doing? Stop manipulating the emotion. Stop lying to yourselves and to us. We're not stupid. We see through you. That's what happens in an acting class. I don't know. I'm just, oh, Jesus. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. I love some flowers. That's what Jeremy got. They're so amazing. Thank you, honey. They're beautiful. Being in the moment. So stop acting badly. I would be thrown out of the theater if I did that as an actor. They would say, get the hell out and come back when you've come down to it. Please get the hell out, out right now. This stage is too sacred for you to bring your lies in. This platform is too sacred for you to lie. So go home, take a little bit of time to think about if you wanna be an actor, which requires truth and honesty on your part. And if you do come back, if not, Stay, stay away. Oh my God, this other interview that just comes to my mind with uh, the comedian woman that I used to think was funny and now, are you kidding me? You're doing that scene and you lack any kind of humor. It is so over the top acting. Hi, I'm going to do something that's very spontaneous right now. Yes, I want for my 40th birthday. I'm sorry, I have to change my voice. My 40th birthday, I'm going to have a friend of mine who's spontaneously joining me. We've never talked about this. I don't even know who the friend is. Who's the friend? Oh, hello, Melissa. Is that your name? Because I've never met you before. This is so spontaneous. They've just made this moment in the moment scene because I want to do something and I want to do something Yes, I'm sitting, what? No, there are no lights. What do you mean? Because you look so beautiful. Hello, we're meeting for the first time for the audiences out there. This was not prepared. There's no preparation. Everything is so in the moment. There's no lights around. There's no, nothing makes me look. Yes. What would you like? Oh, what's there? What's outside the window? Excuse me? This. what's outside the window everything is over the top let's be funny let's be funny you can't be funny with somebody who's not a great actor you can be funny if you're gonna be funny you can't just portray how amazing you are that's just one element of your humanity portray all of who you are so if you're staying there is a wooden statue trying to look beautiful pretending to be doing this in the moment spontaneous comedy scene why why, why, why would you say yes to such a horrible scene if you have no person on the other side of the call giving you in the moment reactions, honest, truthful reactions, the comedy dies, there's no comedy. But I'm not saying that anybody was doing that beforehand. It was just in the moment. It's just spontaneity. I do it in the moment. I do it in the moment. It just comes to me because I'm an actress. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, and then, as if that's not enough, what do we see? What do we see? Oh, the window. How did you get in the window? I did not see that coming. Oh, who is that? I'm laughing because I didn't see it coming. There was no preparation. There was no anticipated Harry coming and doing balls, juggling. I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh, how did he get there? I don't know. How do you possibly? Please, I'm doing an interview and we're being very funny, so darling just go away for now go away but it's raining outside my dear it's raining outside why don't you let me in you told me to come and juggle balls and i've juggled the balls now what do i do next i forgot my palm pilot i forgot my juggling balls do you see how crazy this is making me i would not have thought that i was going to start this 
session like this and then go and drive me crazy. This is crazy. Why is it driving me crazy? It's driving me crazy because there's so much hypocrisy in the world. Please give me a break. This unknown person, Harry, I don't know who he is. Harry, Henry, what's his name? He's from the Royals, Prince Harry, Prince Henry. Oh, what? No. What? I don't know who that is. Who is that? You know, Princess Diana, people's princess, and she was extremely loved, and she was doing so many extraordinary things for people during her life, and she tragically died young. Oh, I don't, I, no, I don't know, no. And where do you live? Do you live under a rock in a place like being a village where even those people know who the royals are because they have internet and they have TVs and really, oh no, oh, you were in Toronto. That's where you filmed suits in Toronto, Canada. Now I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Now it makes sense. Okay, now that makes sense. Now I believe you. I believe you that you didn't know who they were. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? I just wanted to know that he was going to be nice. That's all I wanted to know when my friend said she was going to introduce me to a royal. I didn't know. I was like, no, doesn't, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Is he nice? Because I'm not. Can I manipulate him? That's what I like to do. Is he at a point in his life where he needs a woman like me to come in and have him wrapped around my little finger? Because that's what I'm going to do. Stop, stop, stop. My God, the behavior, you know, going back to Ilya Kazan and psychology transformed into behavior. That's what blows my mind. Instead of doing something that's going to put you on the path and it's going to give you more chances to be able to have a platform, but earn platform because of your work. Kidding me? No, 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 no. The habit comes up. You would know that as an actress to kind of watch yourself and to become aware of it and say, I'm not going to do that because that gives away what I'm doing. That gives away that I'm lying. She doesn't even know that much. So she wouldn't know to stop herself because she doesn't know that specific thing about acting. She knows nothing specifically about acting. But she goes, right, 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 right. I don't know who this person is, right? I don't know, right? right? No, then you don't have to say right to give yourself confirmation, to check in with yourself, remind yourself that you have to believe in what you're saying to make it sound like the truth, because you don't even believe it. So it's like, right, 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 right. I don't know. I don't even know. Am I going to post this? Is this something that I should post? Yes, this is my introduction to merging acting and trying to use that with what's happening in everyday life to show more that acting coaches are of importance because they understand human behavior. So if we are detailed in our feedback when we work with actors and their comportment as people, as humans, as we are trying to help these actors to portray those characters as human as possible, then we can also be very well understanding of people on the news, in the media, journalists, business people, public speakers, politicians. I, we as acting coaches can understand their psychology transformed into behavior and when they are doing it badly, when they are faking it, because acting requires the opposite of faking. Acting, great acting requires truth, not my truth or your truth, truth in portraying humans. It's a responsibility that actors assume, they take on to reveal even what's the worst about them in order to bring it to the character so then we can sit 
from the comfort of our home and say, I can understand what that person is going through. I can understand what it's like to be ashamed because I'm ashamed of something that I did to somebody. Or I can understand that person striving to be a better person when you've done something badly. Because that's what we do. We try to become better people and actors are the healers of the soul through their work, through their characters. So when somebody like any sorts of people come on and they fake acting, it, I cannot take it. That's all I have to say for this episode. Oh my God. <sighs> thank you for listening and thank you for giving me the opportunity to go a little bit crazy in the way that I describe in the way that I talk about my interpretation of what's going on out there with what's most popular in the news right now. Wishing all the best for everybody. Wishing this world recovery on all aspects. God help us all. That's all I can say. Hope, hope, hope for the best.